Houston says police are searching a trash transfer station in connection with a missing persons case. A 39-year-old wife and mother of three, Anna Walsh, was last seen in the early hours of New Year's Day. Her husband, 47-year-old Brian Walsh, was arraigned yesterday on a charge of misleading investigators in connection to her disappearance. Prosecutors said that a bloody knife was found in the family's basement shortly after the husband spent hundreds of dollars on cleaning supplies. Nick Giovanni from uh, CBS News Boston is at that, trans that trash transfer station with the latest on this story. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, can you just sort of lay out the timeline of events for people who may not be familiar with this story? You know, what do we know about Anna and when she disappeared? Emory, good morning. I can't tell you, as you mentioned, this all goes back to New Year's Day. Anna Walsh last seen by her husband, according to prosecutors, the early morning hours of New Year's Day. We're told that she was reported missing days later. And at that point, over the weekend, we can tell you investigators were searching the woods around the house, spent the better part of the weekend doing that, executing a search warrant of the house on this past Sunday, a week after she was last seen. And later that day on Sunday, the husband, Brian Walsh, was under arrest, charged with misleading investigators, as you mentioned. They did go through the house. We were out there at the Cohasset home Monday morning where investigators returned to the scene. Prosecutors later said in court Monday that there was blood found, as you mentioned, in the basement, the knife with the blood on it. And then as this was all unfolding in court yesterday, Investigators were here at this facility in Peabody, this transfer facility, as you mentioned, uh, just about an hour away from Cohasset. This is on the North Shore. Uh, investigators going through, looking through the trash. We saw them out in hazmat gear, uh, looking for hours through the trash in this area. And our investigative team learning this morning, investigators found trash bags with blood, a hatchet, rug, used cleaning supplies all here at the facility. And this is all new information that we're learning here this morning about what was actually found. This as uh, Brian Walsh was being held on $500,000 bail, going back to the, that charge of misleading investigators. So uh, why are investigators searching this trash, trash transfer station? And I guess more importantly, what led them there? What was discovered? So this was a process of following Brian Walsh's movements there. They, they ended up, we understand, going through a dumpster at a facility, uh, the apartment complex of Brian Walsh's mother's home, her apartment complex there. They brought the, the dumpster here, we understand, to this Peabody transfer station to go through it is what we're learning. So now let's talk about the husband. Uh, he was arraigned yesterday on charges of misleading investigators. He, he also has sort of this other background that has to do with art and fraud. What do we know about the charges that are pending, why he was charged with misleading investigators? I think that's a very interesting charge. What did he say to them that led to this? We could kind of tie in the, the two parts of your question there. Mm. One with the, the Andy Warhol paintings, charged with uh, selling two fake Andy Warhol paintings years ago, still awaiting sentencing in that case. But because of that, mm. his movements were limited in the meantime at home. Did have to report, had windows where he was able to travel. And we can tell you that as far as the misleading in investigators in this case, there were a couple different aspects that prosecutors pointed to yesterday, uh, starting for one uh, with the fact that prosecutors said that he told investigators that Anna left again first thing uh, for D.C. in the morning of January 1st. But then prosecutors said that her cell phone actually pinged back to that home not only that day, but the next as well. So they're using that information. Uh, they also referenced the, the blood in the basement, the knife found, and then surveillance footage. They uh, mentioned that he went to the Home Depot on January 2nd, the day after, and they were going through uh, that surveillance footage talking about the $450 worth of cleaning supplies purchased through that. So all of that coming up in court yesterday, the first we had learned of all of those accusations there. Again, and, and fair to mention here, the defense pointing out that he has been cooperative with investigators throughout this entire process. 
Okay, so that's still up in the air. Uh, you mentioned that he was awaiting sentencing on this fake Andy Warhol painting case. Do you have any details on that? Like what happened with that? So we are just starting to go through some of the federal documents associated uh, with that one. Just started to learn more uh, based on court paperwork there. So it's still a lot to, uh, to sift through at that point. But that is absolutely something that we're going through working to learn more on. Yeah, it's a, it's a heck of a case for sure already. Um, and a grim one at that, Nick. Thank you very much.